Hello and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining us. We're continuing along with our uh, training uh, weapon video reviews. Uh, what we have here before us is another from the uh, Cold Steel series, high polymer plastic training uh, tools or weapons. This is known as the Suborito. Um, I'm not sure if I'm pronoun pronouncing that correctly. Uh, if anyone knows the correct terminology on that, please let me know. Uh, tell me what you think of this. If you like it, if you think it'd be something you would use. Um, uh, this weapon basically is designed to uh, mock, I guess, uh, training ore. Uh, or, uh, you know, an, a fisherman's oar turned into a training tool. Turn it over there so you can see the engravings on the other side. Um, apparently, uh, occasionally, samurai would fight using oars. Or I guess sometimes a farmer may need to use an oar to defend himself if that's the only... Uh, you know, tool or piece of equipment he had around him. So uh, maybe they turned some of these into, you know, some of the oars, some of the, the, the fishermen's oars, a more utilitarian tool, into one of these. Um, I don't know if that's historically accurate or not. If anyone out there uh, watching knows, please let me know. But um, I, I just thought it would be epic to give this a try. Um, I'm glad I got to do a good video on it before I scuff it up and rough it up too much because honestly uh taking this out this thing just looks absolutely beautiful i love these engravings these uh this lettering i'm not really sure what that means i need to take the chance to look that up if anyone knows please let me know has it on the other side has a little more down here um and then it just has this nice uh kind of wooden pattern looking like the swirls on a tree swirls on wood uh you know, the grains, essentially, uh, etched in to make it look that way, um, which I think just looks beautiful. Um, as far as, whoops, I almost uh, knocked my camera over there. <laughs> as far as holding this sucker, um, it's definitely got some weight to it, um, but I can hold it with one hand. Um, not sure how long I'd want to, you know, use it continuously in a match or a training exercise. It might be kind of tiring. Uh, just to do a frame of comparison, I will bring out my original trusty cold steel training boken. So you can see if we match up the handles there. Definitely have a longer handle on the Suborito versus the uh, boken there. And if we run up to the blade, See there, holding it together, that's about where the blade ends. Uh, the blade on the, the oh, Boken, I'm sorry, the blade on the Boken ends right about here. The Suburito has about two more inches. Um, let me go ahead and bring in my O Boken into the fold. Just to do another comparison. The uh, O Boken, I would say, is definitely more similar in specs. Um, pull the handles down, about the same handle length almost. Uh, it even runs up to about the same length of blade almost at the end there, see. A little bit higher on that one. But, um, I'm really eager to test, uh, honestly both of these out. I just did a review on the unboxing on this one. Um, you know, uh, let me know what you think of them. How you think uh, you know they would work as a training tool, especially this piece right here. More importantly, uh, let me uh, bring that one back into the center frame a little more, so you could see a little more of that one. You know, if you think uh, this is something you would try using, if you feel uh, you have enough courage, I guess, because I wouldn't want to be in the receiving end of this bad boy. Let me tell you. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna give it a go, anyways. Uh, let me know if you want to see me use this. Um, I'm, I'm eager to actually do some torture testing on this, see what it can really handle. Um, Cold Steel has a lot of 
videos of their training equipment using these polymer weapons. And just about all of them I've seen can really, you know, take a beating. I've seen people use the swords to do pull-ups on them. I've seen them smash uh, cinder blocks with them and pallets, which, you know, is far beyond what a sword should be doing or a training sword for that matter. But um, I think uh, that's what makes them so epic and great. You know, you could just clash them and they just won't quit. They won't break. Uh, this one, I don't think I'll be breaking anytime soon. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, give it a go. We'll see you out there on the field. Thanks for joining.